In this video, you will learn about heart failure. The heart is a fist-sized organ that acts as a pump to send oxygen-rich blood throughout the body. Regular rhythmic electrical signals keep the heart pumping blood. The heart has four chambers, two upper chambers called the right atrium and the left atrium, and two lower chambers called the right ventricle and the left ventricle. The term heart failure does not mean your heart has stopped pumping. Rather, your heart muscle is not able to pump enough blood to meet your body's needs. As a result, you may feel tired, lack energy, experience shortness of breath, and notice excess fluid collecting in your body. In a healthy heart, each chamber contracts in a coordinated effort. If the heart is not beating in a coordinated fashion, then the body will not receive an adequate amount of blood to function properly. During heart failure, the heart attempts to compensate for lost pumping power, which may change its shape and result in an unsynchronized and inefficient heartbeat. This may cause the heart to beat faster, which can lead to dangerously fast or irregular heart rhythms. These abnormal heart rhythms can lead to a condition called sudden cardiac arrest, SCA. Sudden cardiac arrest results from an electrical problem with the heart that triggers a dangerously fast heart rhythm. The rapid, irregular heart rhythm causes the heart to quiver rather than contract or pump. When the heart stops pumping blood, oxygen cannot reach the body and brain. If not treated immediately, SEA can be fatal. Heart failure is a progressive condition. Your doctor may prescribe a variety of treatment options that may slow the progression of the disease, strengthen your heart, and improve your quality of life. Some of these treatments may include lifestyle changes, exercise, medications, device therapy, or a combination of these. A CRT is an implantable heart device consisting of a CRT device and leads. A CRT device is a sealed box that contains a battery and a tiny computer. It is attached to the heart by a set of leads. The leads are thin, soft, insulated wires about the size of a spaghetti noodle and run from the CRT device into specific areas of your heart. They carry the electrical impulse from the CRT unit to the heart and also relay information about the heart's activity back to the CRT device. A CRT device monitors your heart rhythm 24 hours a day and sends electrical pulses to pace the lower chambers of your heart, ventricles, to help them beat in a more coordinated rhythm which improves the heart's ability to pump blood and oxygen more efficiently to the body. In response to abnormal heart rhythms, a CRT device can also provide the following therapies. Pacing therapy. Electrical impulses are delivered to the heart when the heart's own rhythm is too slow or irregular. Defibrillation therapies where a shock is delivered to the heart to interrupt fast heart rhythms and restore a normal heart rate. There are two types of CRT devices, a CRT pacemaker, CRTP, and a CRT defibrillator, CRTD. Both CRT devices act as pacemakers, help to coordinate the heart's pumping action and deliver pacing therapy for a slow heart rate. A CRTD device, however, can also treat fast heart rhythms. All cardiac resynchronization therapy devices are designed to use three leads. One lead is placed inside the right atrium, another lead is placed inside the right ventricle, and the third lead is placed inside a vein on the outside of the left ventricle. On the day of the procedure, your care team will help you prepare for surgery. The procedure is conducted in a hospital cardiac catheterization laboratory, or cath lab, a place where minimally invasive surgical interventions are done. Before the surgery, medication may be given to make you sleepy and comfortable. Generally, the procedure is performed under local anesthesia. A small incision, approximately 5 to 10 centimeters long, will be made in your upper chest area, just below your collarbone. Three leads will be guided through a vein into your heart and the leads will be connected to the CRT device. Your doctor will program the CRT device to deliver the most effective therapies for your specific heart condition and the device will be tested to ensure it is working properly to meet your medical needs. 
It will be inserted beneath your skin and the incision in your chest will be closed using either stitches or a special glue. The entire procedure typically takes approximately one to two and a half hours. Most people go home the same day or the day after the procedure. Recovery times will vary by patient, but most patients are back to their normal routine in six to eight weeks. Follow your physician's instructions and allow yourself time to get used to your CRT device. After your procedure, you will be given a CRT identification card. Always carry it with you as it contains important information about the implanted device. Your doctor will set follow-up appointments during which your CRT will be checked. Take this opportunity to ask any questions you may have. Remote monitoring provides easy access to information that allows your doctor to manage your device and heart condition. A number of options are available for remote monitoring. Ask your doctor if remote monitoring is an option for you. There are some precautions for people living with a CRT device, like keeping a distance of 15 centimeters between your device and your smartphone, or items containing magnets, for example. As long as your doctor has no objections, you can resume all the activities you enjoyed before getting your CRT device.